Need to find the key. Where the fuck is it? Like block four? Uh. I'm fairly certain that these are all going to be locked just like the first time around, but who knows? Mm -mm. Man, you know, there are so many fags around this place, dude. Like, fuck. This jaunt pile of shit must belong to the hoarders in 1B. But I can't get there, so. See, this is one thing I love about camera angles, dude. They, they make you feel like you're being watched. What kind of animal broke the window handle? I'm above the shed. Can I use anything? Certainly not keys, certainly not that. <laughs> Miami. <sighs> I could have broken my legs. Yeah, but let's unlock this immediately. Right. Thank you. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. That son of a bitch, by the way, was about the lack of tank controls. If I'm ever just walking around and you hear son of a bitch, it's because it's the camera and tank controls are fucking with me. Hmm. An old school torch with a clip attachment. It doesn't have a light bulb, but I won't be any good like, oh, okay. I see. Right. Ultraviolet torch. Tor okay, torch meaning flashlight. Gotcha. I was about to say, that looks like a fucking torch. <laughs> Speaking of fags. You know, I'm going to say that to my heart's content now because I can. Can I use that? These belong to the dyers from block one. As long as they keep saving us money by fixing things up, nobody cares where they keep their tools. <laughs> I mean, they could keep them in their own fucking place, but I guess it's not an option. Walter Sullivan, security, agent number 09534. That, that, that's it? I thought there'd be more to it than that. Unless him being here. Oh, look, more fags! <laughs> you know, whether, okay, if this bitch dies, whether or not I get to play this bitch again... I think that hitherto, I will refer to cigarettes exclusively as they were always meant to be called, fags. Actually, you know, there's one thing I'm actually curious about, and I, I, I legitimately don't know. Like, I, I know that fag is a word for cigarette, but like, can you refer to a cigarette as a faggot, or is it just fag? I don't even know. I almost feel like the, the, the fag it part is only for homos. And when I say homos, I don't mean it in a fucking derogatory way. I mean it as in a goddamn homosexual. I mean, I guess I could say gay, but I don't know. I prefer the word homo. Because gay can also mean happy. And gays are happy when they're having sex with their husbands. Just like anybody else is happy when they're having sex with their spouses. Or at least I hope people are happy when they're having sex with their spouses. Some people aren't, which is sad. Some people can't wait to get it over with. Many women have never had an orgasm. That agent number means something. That's gotta mean something. I'm not sure what, but it's gotta mean something. But now I have the ultraviolet light. And I have another thing undone. <sighs> Let's see. Apartment, again, I don't know if these things are called apartments, but I'm going to call them fucking apartments for the sake of this. Apartment 1B is one thing I'm going to have to go into. You know, I, I doubt, I'm even, I don't even think I'm going to have to go into all these doors. Like, I feel like some of these doors are just naturally locked because they would be. Because <laughs> of people's private residences. 
fuck. Mother fuck. No. Obsessing all of them. Nope. No. Okay, why is it the the, the bees, the bee doors are always crooked? <laughs> Let me guess. The place up here where it's all dark is the fucking place where her apartment is. I would deny that when I was a little girl, I would throw things out this window to play basketball with a tool shed. Oh, fuck. I used to know a girl named Erica, but she was black. God damn it. B? Nope. I bet it's B. No? Okay, I guess I was too... Uh, wait, wait, or is it this one with the doormat? Well, no, that one has a doormat, too. Door to my... Oh! <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I guess she would spell it out. I don't remember leaving the lights on. Fuck. Anyway, let's see how much of a mess the house was left in this time. Shit. Stop the opening door. Some of my favorite leather jackets. Now I just need a nice ride. So let's check some motorcycles. See, because, oh, okay. The, the reason I'm not going batshit like I was in whatever's apartment is because his apartment was like ominous and creepy from the very get-go. This one isn't. This one's actually more so... serene? Erica, come see me when you read this. I couldn't find the luminol. I think it's in your locker, but you must have the key in a trouser pocket, as usual. When you find it, get some hydrogen peroxide, come home, and mix them up as follows. Okay, game is pretty on the nose. I mean, this is clearly a puzzle solution. Okay, but I'm gonna have to mix shit in this. Okay. So, the luminol. So, the luminol is in here already, and I gotta mix it. Trouser pockets. Okay. So there's going to be a key to a locker with luminol in it. I gotta get some hydrogen peroxide and then mix them. You know, I gotta admit something to her too. You know what? Let's just explore this one. You know, let's explore the main room first. Oh. That is the main room. Let's explore a single room first. Oh, okay. You know, I, you know, I actually wonder what it would be like with Sophie in here, right? Because these are Erica's keys. Would Sophie just be like, yo, this is Erica's apartment. She's an interesting person. I must have left the cabinet key in one of my pockets. Damn, my place is a mess. <clears throat> it's not here. Where the hell did I put it? Shit. Okay. You know, I gotta say too, it's like, it's one of my, one of my biggest, I don't know if fear is the word, but one of my biggest anxieties, I guess, is like, this is her apartment, right? Like, this is somewhere where you would, where you should feel safe in serenity, but it's not. Like, having to put your ear towards doors in your own house to make sure they're safe is not something you should want, like, regularly. 
And honestly, I'm surprised. Okay, and I'm surprised that anybody still even lives in these apartments. Because, like, this is Erica's flat or apartment or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Isaac's, I think, was the other one that I already investigated that had the, uh, the Ouija board and shit in it. Isaac's, I totally get his being creepy. Now, nothing creepy has happened in Erica's yet. But if something does creepy does happen in her apartment, then I can only assume it must happen in other people's apartments too, which would give another story, I guess, in plot hole inconsistency to ideal. Because why in fuck's name would anybody not move out? Okay. The only explanation, if if Erica's apartment has shit in it, then I'm going to assume other people's apartments do too. And if other people's apartments have shit in it, then I'm going to make a simple assumption that they haven't moved out because their lease isn't up yet, and they can't afford it, and, and they can't afford you know, to break that. So my guess is that if anybody else, they, they're they're never home, which would explain why the guy's grocery cart was up there. I, my guess is they're never home, because realistically, if if you even go there in this game, they won't be home. So my guess is they're never home. They just chill out, but they gotta stay there for the time being anyway because of their lease. That's my guess. That was his room. Double doors, shit. Living room. I also like this place because you get to know more about Erica. My little collection of rock and roll gems. Some of these are limited editions. Good. According to Chris, I wear the pants in our relationship. Zombie movies scare him shitless. Well, he hasn't seen nothing yet. It's quite refreshing to come home to modern furniture after a day surrounded by antiques. Speaking of antiques and all that shit, you know, it must be okay, like the the like this. Okay, so this this episode is about the antique shop. But half this episode's area doesn't even isn't even about the antique shop. It's about these apartments, because like these apartments are not in the antique shop. But the re so the reason I mention that is because how convenient is that? Like really, like Isaac, okay, Isaac and Erica live in I guess you could call it the same apartment complex, even though the quote unquote courtyard does not look like a fucking courtyard. It looks like some back ass fucking alley. Um, but anyway, but, like, how convenient is that, though? All you gotta do is walk down a few flights of stairs, which really makes me question why they don't have elevators. But that's all you gotta do is just go down the stairs and then walk across the quote-unquote courtyard, and you're in your workplace. I mean, that's convenient, honestly. That's actually pretty smart to be, like, to be, you know... <laughs> like, not only can you... Okay, people consider themselves lucky... When when they have when they only have like a five to ten minute drive to work, and I've been there. I've I've been in a job where I only have like a, a ten minute drive to work, and it was pretty awesome. Um, but imagine if you if your walk to work was approximately two minutes. <laughs> like, it's pretty it's pretty convenient. Will Christian hate me if I make him watch Night of the Living Dead on the projector again? Never seen that movie. Although one movie I am uh, interested in seeing is Return of the Living Dead. Order has never been one of my virtues. Just take a look at the pages in my diaries. Good God. Some of these aren't even mine. Ha! <laughs> Giggity. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up. Not here either. Let me guess. There's going to be a bunch of different piles, and the last pile is the one where it's at. This is really geeky, but I love it. I always wanted to have Cadillacs and dinosaurs at home, and now I do. You have a fucking arcade machine in your goddamn... As soon as I find Dad and have time to rest, I'm going to lie here, right here, binge listening to Metallica. Hmm. So she's like a punk rock girl, kind of like Max and Chloe from Life is Strange. I'm not stopping until I find that key. Come on, Erica. Son of a bitch, everybody. 
Okay, I'm not exactly orderly, but I, even I don't just leave <sighs> piles of clothes lying around. Not here either. Oh. Small key. Huh. Key to my bathroom cabinet. Neat. Huh. No, I didn't do these dishes before I left. Yes, Dad, I'm a mess. Okay, girl, I just gotta say, there are flies in here. If you have flies in your kitchen, then you're a bit too messy. The next, the next step to that is cockroaches. I know someone who had a cockroach infestation. Unfortunately, I visited them while they had their cockroach infestation because I didn't know they had a cockroach infestation. And let me tell you, having a cockroach infestation, even though it wasn't even my infestation, is fucking disgusting. I could go into that in detail, but I'm not going to. First off, because it's fucking disgusting, because it's a fucking cockroach infestation, but also because that's not what this is about. Look at that, more fags. My plant is dead. Damn it, dead ice. Why don't you fucking water it? It's your fucking shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Erica. That's fucking... Okay, Erica, girl, you're a bit gross. The key to quickly cooking is to have a good set of knives. Okay, like... I, I'm i kind of like her. I'll, I'll admit, I'm not like a very orderly person. But even I don't have fucking flies in the fucking house. The only thing I have... We have an ant infestation like every spring and summer where I live. But that's not even a fault of ours. It's really not. That's our whole area. Like The, the, the whole area that we live in um, has a um, ant problem. Oh yeah. Now, where's the cabinet? Small key. Huh? This is the key to my bathroom closet. Aren't we in your fucking bathroom? What? Or, or do you mean the one with a goddamn shower in it? Because I assume you have a shower or a bath in here. It's my humble assumption that you do. Parties, holidays, concerts. So many memories. Anyone alive in the year 2020 and 2021 will recognize this. Parties? Concerts? The fuck are those? Yep, here we go. Anyone who's been living these past, like, two years knows exactly what I'm talking about with that. Shower. Oh, okay. Why is your shower not, like, yes, you have a curtain, but do you have any idea how easy it is for water to escape like that? I guess if you, I guess if you have, like, an issue with your knees, you're good to go. I'd love to use these more often, but since I'm always traveling, I still have an open Laura or that. I locked the cabinet before I left. Now I need to find the key. Already done and done. The luminol is here. Thank God. Bottle of luminol. Luminol. Supposedly, this should help me spot old bloodstains. Right? Why the fuck would you need to spot bloodstains? Why? <laughs> luminol, though. So luminol, and then I gotta take that and mix it somewhere... Hold up, where in fuck's name do I have to mix that again? Where do I mix those up? I'm fairly huh? certain I can't just... Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I have to mix them somewhere. But fuck if I know where. Two bathrooms right next to each other. Jesus Christ, I thought those pills were somebody sitting there. 
I would so love to spend the day here, chilling and playing the guitar. Just seeing those likes makes me feel warm. The room would be cozy even if there was nothing else in it. What the fuck are those? Nobody likes my scorpion. Yeah, it's venomous. Yeah, it's venomous, I get that. But it's never hurt a soul. That I know of. No one understands you, little guy. My favorite horror stories of all time. I'm not the world's most avid reader, but sometimes I read books by the dozens. So basically, if you're interested in it. It's precious. Did you miss me? Did you like the cold torque token I left to keep you company? Oh, I bet you. I bet you that coal tar token goes into that thingy out front. Mm -mm. Just put my hand in there. This is a Sydney funnel. If it bites me, I'm screwed. Sydney funnel up spider. I'm about to look up what a Sydney funnel up spider is. But while I do that, I have a question for her. Why do you keep dangerous animals in fucking cages in your room? <laughs> Why? So yeah, that damn thing is a major poisonous spider. That's pretty much all you need to know about it. But why do you keep shit like this in your room? I don't get that. Let's see though, you have to, you have to keep it away though. I don't suppose. The poor thing was ravenous. It took her all two seconds to start eating. Does that mean... <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. Although it now makes sense as to why her pet food is cockroaches. Worst part is, I 50% believe that she just killed those cockroaches on her own in her own apartment and just kept them there. The Rose Maze, one of the best sci-fi movies I've ever seen. Not to mention how well they use the horror elements. Posters of exhibits and events I've gone to in the last few years. Who would have thought? Who would have thought what? Ya bitch. The bedroom of bedrooms. A ghost? Monster? Demon? My own insanity? She needs to leave this place. In my home, inside the walls, all over the entire building, wherever I go. The photographs, they can't be real. Is it me? Where is Simon? Cannot get in anymore. There is something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Sounds like a crazy Dad? person. What the hell is this? Where are you? All of our keys, conveniently organized by Dad. This will be interesting. Motherfucker. Can I just take all of them? What? Oh shit. Old key, the ones on the right hand column are used. Okay, so they're useless. The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. So, are those mostly useless? The square gold keys? Fuck me on a goose. Um. Yeah, I'm playing as the fucking cop now. I don't have the footage for it, cause I fucked up. But Everything Erica died. To be in order and quiet. I don't but give a shit. Better check things out in here. Uh, 
I honestly don't give a shit. I died right here. So let me explain how the fuck I died. I, I honestly don't even really give a shit. I'm just gonna run anywhere. I don't care anymore. So let me explain how the fuck I died. Apparently, the map, unlike most games, does not count as a pause menu. The, the, the creature started coming for me, so I went to the map. I assumed this was a fucking pause menu. Apparently, it doesn't. So they just got me while I was in the pause menu trying to figure shit out. So I, I honestly don't even care anymore. I think I elaborate on the death later, but I feel as though it should be done now considering my poutiness. As I said, I assumed, because of every other game I've ever played in my life before, that the map button counted as a pause button. So I was far away, I, the mini game came up where you had to hide in the closet. I was far away from any sort of closet as Erica. So I wanted some time to plan my route to get to the nearest hiding place whether it was that front one in the main room or the closet in the bedroom on Isaac Farber's apartment. Sorry, I have hiccups. So I went to the map in order to have some time to breathe and to have some time to plan out my route for which one was actually closer. Um, I ended up deducing that Erica, that Isaac Farber's apartment was closer. Well, I assumed I had all the time in the world to check it out because I thought I was paused because I was in the map. The map. Well, I didn't. Because this game counts the pause menu as a menu, but not the map. The map still counts as gameplay. So essentially, I was wasting time. So by the time I got into the, like almost immediately after, le after leaving the, the map menu, I got taken on that staircase and died as Erica. And what I did was, the reason I don't have any footage of it, is because in order to try and not die, I immediately left the game. Leaving the game lost me all the footage I had of that, which is why I don't have the footage. I left the game in order to try and cheat and keep Erica alive. Why did I try to cheat? Because I felt cheated. Still do, actually. Because just like the minigame with Sophie, I felt very cheated that I died because of something that I wasn't aware of. I think I explained this later on, like I said, but I wanted to do it now because I get extremely pouty and I want that to be justified. So I felt cheated again, which is why I stopped caring a lot for the rest of this episode. The rest of this episode, I'm straight up, I pretty much stopped caring because I felt cheated because I two characters died for reasons that I deemed to not be of my own fault. The mini game and the, the, the map menu not counting as a pause button. Um, so yeah, that's what happened though. Turns out if you leave the game after a character is already, because if you leave the game after the mini game's already done, the character death still counts. So Erica was still lost for me, but I still lost the footage. Although the only thing that actually happened was that it took me a long time, but I solved the key puzzle. You grab three keys, the proper three keys, and then I just went right back here. That's all I did. Um, but I just thought I would point that out, that that's exactly what happened. Um, I think I explained that later on too. If I do, which I do, I'll just cut it out because I'm putting it here instead. So that's what happened. So there you go. Back to the gameplay. Right, let's go. Where's the fucking dark room? There we go. I don't care anymore. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, don't get don't for, don't mistake my poutiness. Me meaning to for, to mean that I don't like the game. I do still like the game, but like Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's fucking mix this bullshit. Yay. I, I don't even care.
Perfect, they used those, all those, they will think they do their job. Okay, let's go ahead and combine this. No. Luminal's properly activated, they're gonna believe me when I tell them about the police station lab, I don't care about the police station lab. Luminal spray with the dilution of that. Great. An old camera that these are built up using modern techniques. All right, well, time for the... So to the right. Time for the storage rooms. Which honestly I'm glad for because I'm 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 I love this game but I can't deny I'm tired of this episode. I'm tired of this episode because I've had two fucking characters die. For reasons that are fucking bullshit. So like I said, I was I, I like if 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 I was playing as Erica next fucking episode and she died, I wouldn't have given a fuck. Well I would have, but like I wouldn't be pissed off. Happened the same fucking episode in just the same way. Actually, why the fuck am I... Alright, come on. Mm -hmm. Yep, come on. Excellent. Alright, let's go through. Cutscene. Outside my area of expertise, but a forensic team can do it. That's great. I don't give a shit, dude. That's bullshit. Awesome. So this is place is designed to be a goddamn maze. Gotcha. Ah, so the blood is a waypoint, gotcha. So, to, to further explain why it pisses me off that Erica died, let me paint a picture for you using TV terms. Imagine there's a character that everybody loves if in, in a show. Let's say, I don't know, Jesse Pinkman or Jon Snow. And let's say that they've been, and let's say that they get killed off for some bullshit fucking reason in season three. Yeah, that's why. That's why it fucking pisses me off. Come on. And there's no map here because they want it to be a goddamn maze. That's interesting. Wardrobe covered in blood. Luminous should tell if this is the right one. Oh, they're looking for a wardrobe covered in blood. Gotcha. So that's not the right one. What is it? I thought it was one of those hiding things, not one of those block the door things. Too late to request reinforcements. I don't know what that horrific thing was, but I must proceed. Too late, my ass. That is not how cop. Okay, if there's a cop in a sticky situation, if there's a cop in a fucking shootout, 
do you think the cops gonna say, oh my gosh, too late to call reinforcements? Now, fuck no, they're gonna get on the radio, they're like, I don't know, fucking 10-4, I don't know cops speaking, but like 10-4, some assholes are shooting at me on 5th Street, need backup right the fuck now. Nothing. Excellent. Let's proceed. It's right here. Damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> 